hello the viewer today we are going to discuss on the excitation and the excitations of Adam without wasting terms let's get started Atom has a power of the transitions between the ab the orbit which is permitted by quantum mechanics. We're going to discuss some quantum mechanics in our next uh, video. The transition takes place by either observing or emitting equal difference energy. Between the orbit, excitation takes place as a result of atom absorbing a photon why the excitation take place as a result of emission of photon by atom photon is a quantum of light and other electromagnetic radiations energy just what we're trying to see here is that excitations and the excitations excitation is when the atom move from one orbit to another as a result of applications of one uh, energies or the other why the excitation is is when it jump back to the initial state when there is a reduction of energy so excitation and the excitation is what we need to work on now we look at them this um, diagram this picture this picture it depict on absorptions of light the first of this year it shows that the elections is in the ground state but on the process of absorbing light energy it jumps from this first shares which is a ground state to the next uh, shell by looking at this, it depicts that this one, which is on the next uh, level, they have excited to the next shell's orbit, that is, next orbit, is now back to the, the initial orbit when there is a reduction of the energy. This is the energy here. You, as we go, you're going to know the meaning of this formula. Now, as it shows in the above picture, the emitted wavelength or light absorbed is the same. In such a way that the energy carried by the photon between the two orbits are different based on the equations on the picture the following must be what noted h is a Planck constant c stands for the speed of light the lambda is the wavelength and e is energy now the calculations of energy when calculating the energy the following equation can be applied E which is the energy V equals to H the Planck constant then times C the speed of light divided by the wavelength mathematically you have E equals to HC all over wavelength which we have Planck constant to be 6.626 exponent 10 minus 34 joule second but atom only absorbs or emitted a certain discrete wavelength or energy meaning that there is a bunch a group of energy or wavelength which atoms absorb now we're going to look at the spectra atomic spectra since we say there is a bunch of group of energy which atom absorb then there is what we call atomic spectra we're looking at it now when atom accept a quantum that is quantum simply mean in another way like i can say the quantities of energy that's a quantum energy it moves to the to an excited state that is a certain position it grounds it that is it left the ground state when this atom loses or emitted the the, the absorbed energy or light it will return to the ground state as you, as it was shown in the previous picture so in this tutorial we going to use glass for illustrations so when a glass is heated in a flame it gives a yellow flame 
the, the yellow flame is as a result of excited sodium atom in the glass that is going back to the world, a respective brown state. Also, the familiar red light of neon sign is as a result of neon atom that is being excited by the influence of electrical discharge. Spectroscope is one of the instruments they use to view the excited state of an atom. So when the excited atom are viewed through the spectroscopy, a slight image is observed. The observed image is along the instrument scale appear as a series of colored lines, of which we're going to see maybe as we as we proceed. The different colored observed suit a light of different wavelengths. So the series of line observe is called line spectrum. The line spectrum of various elements is the fixture of that element. That the spec and the spectrum may be used to identify each of the elements present. That is, it may be used and it is being used to identify each of the elements present. Hydrogen element has simple spectrum and that is the element we shall work on in the course of our illustration. Now this is the picture that depicts the the spectrums we're talking about here. I see that this is the Bama series. Bama series of hydrogen atoms shows the visibility of a line. Here is continuum. That is when it comes here it come it will come to, come to a point that it will cluster in one place the wavelength the series will cluster one place this cluster is what form a continuum here here is our equation v here equals to one over the wavelength equals to r half of over n raised to r two minus n 1 over n to raise over 2. The V represents inverse of wavelength, that is inverse, reverse of wavelength. When it has a value of 2, n2 is the integer. So the value continue like uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, till infinity. Okay? R is known as Rayback constant. The value of R is 109. 677.581 cm. That is our discussion for now.